welcome to today's video. What the heck temperature is it? Doesn't say. It's kind of warm outside. Kind of warm for December 23rd. So uh, today we're headed out early. Um, we missed our rod yesterday. I told you guys we missed our rod yesterday with Brandon. We always have a couple rides, like a couple lessons each week. And we had to miss it because because Sam's truck is still being fixed. He said it might be ready today. Hopefully it'll be ready today, I don't know. But um, we're headed to the bar now. Our farrier is coming. He's gonna take care of Chino Bambino and we're gonna see the boys. And we have so much to do today, so much to do. And we're gonna do it. <laughs> we're gonna knock it out of the park, get it done. Girls are getting ready. I'm waiting, waiting for Sam, waiting for the girls. I'm alone in the car with you guys. I just wanna say Merry Christmas. I love you all so much. It's been a, such a transitioning year, such a crazy year, and I'm so glad to have had you guys along with us. I know I don't respond to all of your comments anymore because things have just been crazy, um, but I see you guys there, and I see the love, and I see the support, and I see the kindness, and I just want to say thank you for that. All right, we are getting it together. Last one. Who's the last one? Who's always last one? <laughs> Who's always the last one? Even at Christmas time, you guys. Hello, handsome. Oh, it is. A rough place to be, isn't it? That clip clop of horse feet. It's my favorite sound. Girls have gone to get there, boys. We're here today with the farrier and Stormy's getting back with our farrier, which I'm excited about. Storm is so smart, you guys. He knows that this is slippery and everywhere we pass soft snow, he maneuvered himself right over to it. Hi. So that he didn't slip. All right, I'm gonna go to the outhouse. <laughs> He moves them. Yeah, he moves the jumps all the time. I love that about him. Like, he jump moves the jumps. This is what we missed on Wednesday. Yeah, a couple times a week. Like, that's cool. Snowman thing the opposite way. Look what I'm jumping today. Yeah. All right, well, let's get going. Listen, you guys can uh, ride right now. You can't ride. You can ride Storm. You have to run some. No, he's ours. No, they're using him, so he's kind of not ours. No, we can ride him. I uh, made the wrong choice today. I did not bring my snow pants, and we're here for hours. So, gloves. yeah, I'm looking. So, we're gonna heat up the room so that we can keep coming in and stuff. But right now, they're gonna take the ponies and let them like see each no, other. No. And why he's not? He's getting ridden. He's getting tired. Oh, sorry, Finn. Brother versus brother. Yeah, we'll be right back. We'll be right back, Finny Finn. Ah! Uh oh, watch out because you know. And they're off. Oh. Blue and blue. The day by day boys. These are the day by day boys. Storm is like, you better remember, I'm the boss of you. She knows cocky now. So. Yeah, Chino's <laughs> cocky now. <laughs> so we don't know how this is gonna end up. Yeah. I <laughs> okay. Storm. My heart definitely did not. Don't fight it. <laughs> okay. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. Too. Hey. Okay. Put the put their put their ropes on. Put their ropes on. No, I want Chino to not be an idiot right now. Yeah. Well, this is not the time to discuss this. <laughs> Step behind the pole. There will be no horses coming behind the pole. Oh, uh, I don't want any injuries. Go for a run. Go for a run. He's licking and chewing. That means he remembers. Or he needs a drink. I do not like how close an arena is. <laughs> go, go for a run. Chino's standing his ground though. Aww, they do remember. Okay, leave it. Yeah, there we go. They do remember. Gabby wants Chino to not be an idiot. What does that mean? I mean, look at them love each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chino checking himself out. I mean, he's a handsome boy. I know he does. There's a box right there, dude. Don't kick it. They're like, it's too cold to be frisky. Come on, stormy boy. I'm gonna jump in and I'm jumping over the 
Yeah, we still have a video of Gabby jumping. Maybe I'll put it on her channel. Let him roll. Let him roll. Aww, they're grooming each other. Yeah, yeah. Don't rip, hey, Chino. Yeah, she's just gonna kick him in the knees. Yeah, no kicking in the knees. Aw, see, they're already a herd. Chino already doesn't want to be left without him. You see that? Storm's like, come on, you can be with me. All it took, no, all it took was him, Storm turned his butt to Chino. Chino bit Storm's blanket and Storm put his butt to Put his butt to Chino and Chino, poof, was his follower. Oh yeah, no, Chino backs down easily. He's just the boss of his field yeah. right now, but Finn does not fight. Yeah. Alright, we got one down. <laughs> one down. I'm riding. Woo! I'm riding the dusty one. Woo! Hi! Come here. Uh-oh, stay back, Storm. Storm? Star Storm is standing guard. Nope, not standing guard. Uh-oh, I better stand by a jump. Oh. <laughs> Did you see Gino? <laughs> Storm's like, yes, it feels so good. She was like, I will jump everything. Storm's like, I will not. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're cute. He's got some you're cute, too. He's got some on his what? Head. Yep. All right. <laughs> yeah. Chino. Gabby just brings two horses in. That's no problems. Yeah, this one just ground ties. Stays tied up to nothing. He does not ground tie, trust me. So a finny boy is oh like here's here's the crazy thing about horses. I love it too. I love it too. Okay, so here's the crazy thing about horses. It's plain. And Finn does not like playing. So the thing about Finn, and probably most horses, but Finn especially, is a horse that tells you everything. Like, he's a complainer. Him, Sophie is exactly like every animal that she owns. Exactly like them. Anyways, we've been experimenting with a few things on Finn, and he tells us when he likes them or not. I've been telling her to do the girth up tighter lately, and I think that was his problem in the last ride is it was too tight as soon as we loosened it right now I made her loosen it a little he just like was so much happier but if we change one thing or we do something differently that he doesn't like he he's like oh, oh, ew. <laughs> that's what he does I need to remember to take our stool home because uh, this is what I used to get on my horse and I want to ride her bareback and Sam thinks we should just leave this one here and buy a new one for home Don't run me over he hates corners. So anyway, the other thing that's so weird about Sophie that most people probably wouldn't see is that she is all about business when she gets to the barn. Yeah, she's practicing holding on with her leg. So. I'm gearing up. No, you can't give up. You don't have to hold on tight. It's so easy. Holding on, it just means holding your legs there. Holding the horse. It doesn't mean squeezing. You don't have to squeeze. Ever since I learned that trick about how your heels down doesn't mean like shove them in the stirrups and make sure they're down. It means hold on with their, like it's such a different feeling. As soon as I learned how to do that, it changed everything for me. I'm trying to teach Sophie the thing that I learned with my feet and I don't know how to teach it. And I'm not that I'm perfect at it. Because I'm not a coach. It's true. It's hard for me to explain, but I think probably a lot of people ride with their feet, with their heels down in the stirrups when really you're meant to ride with your heels down regardless of whether you have stirrups. Like it's hard to explain. You guys know what I'm talking about. You're meant to not even have stirrups. The stirrups are just there for like something to rest your toe on, but you don't, 
the, the stirrups have nothing to do with heels down. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't make sense, but I like, I say it and I crave the feeling now. Like to me, it feels good to sit on a horse and put your heel down without even, like when I ride the Pasofinos, he only goes in this corner now. <laughs> he only goes in this corner now because I'm in it. <laughs> um, but when you like when I ride the Pasofinos, I'm riding and riding and I just want to kick my feet out of the stirrup so bad every time. Like it's just once you learn that feeling of riding. So Sophie's homework for the Christmas holidays is to walk with Finn and push him over with her legs, make him yield with his to He's make him better. Yeah. It's pretty good with this, just a lot of yeah, before I had to kick him out, he just went for it. Yeah. You know what's really weird about my mare? I know you guys don't really care about my mare, but I have to tell you because it's exciting for me. But what's weird about my mare is that when I got her, she was always like nervous and anxious and, and anticipating. And she was kind of like, um, and she never really listened to anything I said. But she's so easy to ride that none of that really mattered. But now that we have a bond and now that she understands that now that she understands that she loves me and she wants to listen to me and we're learning together, she's actually focusing and she's actually thinking. And I literally only have to barely touch her to get her to do stuff. Like for the first time ever the other day, I rode her and kept her between my legs to go straight and to make her move the way that I wanted, I kept her between my legs and it was the first time I've ever done that on a horse and been successful and felt like the horse did it without having to exert myself so much. Like I just, held her and steered her with my legs and I didn't have to exert my, I didn't have to put like a lot of pressure or use a lot of leg and she just listened to me. It's the first time that's ever happened to me in like four years. Never ridden another horse that just listened like that. And it was because she isn't scared anymore. So I think like sometimes, do you guys think some horses when they're not listening, it's because they're anxious or there's like something going on mentally that they're not, able to listen it's kind of like the way that sophie's trying to like work on so many things at once so when she's trying to work on on one thing then her hands won't be good do you guys give your farriers and your chiropractors and people that work on your horses christmas presents anytime we have them coming before christmas we always give them something so we got them a 50 dollar card for coffee because farriers need coffee nothing worse than a grouchy farrier so you gotta have them so they gotta have coffee how you ensure door how you ensure a happy experience this is what we do now with the farrier we stay in the heated room we just all chill room. out watch our phones eat snacks hey. have drinks that's a reason have drinks. Gabby, i don't have any plain chocolate so me. sophie had so in the car on the way here i could smell something burning i could smell this awful god awful smell horrible smell and i kept saying sam there's something wrong with my car i can smell it burning and sam's like no that's not a burning smell i'm like yes and then suddenly i can smell the burning smell in here sophie's chips she's got these disgusting <laughs> disgusting doritos dorito dynamite dorito Spicy. dynamite and they smell like burnt car maybe me to them so this is what it looks like when you make grain bags for your horses i got sam on grain duty he is out here making grain for all the horses pretty much done how many days are we good till that's what i always try i don't know i gotta count these ones when i get there yeah so now he has to take them over to the other barn put them all in there listen in to christmas music he's got sophie in the car yeah warming up it's uh, it's Christmas Eve Eve, and I have so much to do, you guys, because we do our Christmas dinner with my family tomorrow. I have to go get groceries and a couple other things at the dollar store, and like a ton of running around to do. But Gavin needs to ride her boy. It's been a week, less than a week. Friday, six days. It's been six days since we rode this boy. Yeah, I can tell he's excited. He's like, yes! <laughs> Let's go! Cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Gabby says her horse is fresh. There's so much to do on the eve of Christmas Eve. And Gabby's out there riding her boy. Hasn't been ridden in six days. And I keep having to fight with myself from, to stop myself from saying, come on, Gabby, we have to go, Gabby. Hurry up, Gabby. Because 
it's so easy to do that as a parent because you need to get things done but I always want them to learn to He's scared of the tinsel. But I always want them to learn to take time for them and their horse. I want that to be like, you guys see how hard it is for me to take time away from everything. Just for me and my horse. I only get to ride her when things aren't busy and things aren't crazy. And I want them to learn that their horse comes first. And I want them to have the time that they need to ride their horse properly and not feel rushed because that takes away, that robs you of the feeling that you get when you ride your horse. And the feeling you get when you ride your horse is so beautiful and so incredible. I want them to have that. I want that to be a gift for them. And so here I sit, freezing in a heated room, waiting for Gabby to ride her horse and take her time and do the things that she needs to do for him and for her. And I will never, ever, ever regret it. These are the things that when you die, you look back and you say, I sat there and I watched her ride her horse over and over and over and over again. So she, so she had what she needed. So she, so she felt good. She's out there riding with no hands. <laughs> I think she feels good. He just wants to stop and smell all the jumps. He doesn't want to jump the jumps. He just wants to smell all the jumps. Right. We got Chino the Christmas pony back in business, looking good and feeling fine. He's a Christmas clown. <laughs> He's a Christmas clown. Are you? No. <laughs> he went off. There he goes, running with a Christmas helmet. Running with a Christmas hat. Let's see how fast you think he'll take it off. <laughs> We're returning it. All right, let's head out. Don't you know that you're beautiful?